Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Would you look where I found myself today at the Jazzware booth at San Diego Comic Con 2023 and I managed to wrangle one of these. Thank you to Jazzware for giving this to me. This is the new Neon Superfly Warthog, the exclusive at San Diego Comic Con. And I haven't even looked inside yet. I'm actually very excited, but I've just been admiring the packaging for a start. This reflective look is so nice and they've got it all across every single side. It's a real labor of love and I just love especially that Comic-Con exclusive logo. Look at that, one of 1,000. So this is actually a super limited run. I didn't know at first that this was just 1,000 and I was covering the news of this since the very moment it was revealed. The only thing left to do is look inside, I guess. Let's have a peek in here wow look at that the neon superfly warthog with spartan cellox i'm so happy to add this to my collection this is the three and three quarter inch world of halo scale they also do the spartan collection scale which you can see more of behind me check out my channel for more videos on that look at this little guy a halo infinite exclusive dlc code i have no idea what this could be for actually and fast forward to a few days later i've been doing some research and i found two instagrammers who actually did the photography and the design of this neon superfly warthog they confirmed that the reward is the neon superfly armor coating for mark 7 and their accounts are also just super insightful so if you want a little behind the scenes on how these toys are photographed then i'll leave their accounts down below great job guys this this whole thing is meant to re resemble some kind of shipping container, but the whole aesthetic matches the actual Warthog and the Cellox inside. So yeah, we got our little card here, our little exclusive code, and then a closer look at our Cellox. Wow, and this Neon Superfly Warthog. Now, you may have noticed for the eagle-eyed viewer out there, there is a battery on the side. Without further ado, let's light her up. Wow. There we go, there we go. Jazzware had a Halo Spartan collection exclusive last year, a Master Chief and the weapon, but it was just a repackaged one. Maybe there were a couple of slight aesthetic changes like battle damage, but it was just a Master Chief and the weapon, which we did get in standard retail. But this is a limited edition, one of a thousand Warthog. And uh, yeah, I can't believe it actually has a little light up box inside as well. Serious attention to detail. Let's see how gently we can open this thing. Cause obviously I want to keep the packaging really well intact. So we're going to very carefully take these seals off. The only thing it'll have to do is survive my suitcase back to England. Flip this over and we're going to pull this out. Here it is. The Spartan Cellox. That actually looks so nice. Wow. There's a ton of paint apps on this thing, mainly just the neon pink and the neon blue. It's interesting because the neon superfly warthog is also coming to Mega Halo with the new Mega Halo fan vote. So clearly it's a very popular warthog, right? Like it was voted by the people to bring into Mega and Jazzware also decided coincidentally that it was a good time to bring it in as well. So clearly a top seller in the Halo Infinite store. I wonder if 343 did share some information. You know, I don't know if I'm gonna take this Cellox out. I'd love to see the posability of it, but it will be the same as most World of Halo, if not all World of Halo scale. The Spartan Cellux I did get uh, in the Gungoose. The Warthog itself, really nice. I mean, the pink and the blues definitely match perfectly to the Cellux. The paint apps all seem very good. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed by this, honestly. This, this came out really nicely. To its credit, it's better left in the display box. I could take this out right now and give you a proper showcase, but I don't know. It might not be as easy to get back in in this same way to display. Nice printed decals of the UNSC. The magazine on the chain gun actually has really nice printed detailing. I love how they've done that. Little blue highlights on the wheels go a long way. And then the pink gasoline cans, also a really fun touch. This is just a very, very fun warthog, right? I love, in my opinion, when 343 do break a little bit from the standard gritty realism of Halo. Well, like a, like a cartoony gritty realism. Obviously, this would never in a million years be produced by the UNSC, but I think it's a really nice touch. Like, I think it's great when uh, Halo sort of branches out a little bit and does something a little more interestingly creative, a little more out of the box. Jazz where I guess put this in the box. <laughs> I'm gonna scoot this gently back in. I'm really impressed with it. Everything you would want from this release, a collector's item, one of a thousand. Like it's got that premium that you would expect from a Comic-Con exclusive. The glossiness goes a long way. Yeah, I mean, a graphic designer has clearly spent a long time on this and also a lot of the other promotional stills for this set are equally as impressive. I gotta say, this is a standout 10 out of 10 from Jazzwares. 
they've really delivered and they've shown that the Halo license is an IP they want to keep on producing for, keep on defending by releasing a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, well as a really impressive display, which you can check out more of on my channel uh, at any time you'd like. I'll leave a link to the actual display video at the end of this one. But other than that, guys, this is the domain reporting for San Diego Comic-Con. Thanks so much to Jazzware for actually providing this set to me. And I'm also looking forward to just seeing what the future of Jazzware holds. I think it's really bright with a release like this. It shows Jazzware's confidence in the line, and I can't wait to see the new line of Spartan Collection hit retail as soon. That Alice and Fred, they're gonna look great in my display. So this has been another video with The Domain. Thanks again to Jazzware. And the SDCC Neon Superfly Warthog, in all its glory, is signing off.